Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great day today or a great Tuesday today. It's late Monday night when I'm recording this, but you'll see it on Tuesday. So uh, first off, thank you to all of you who watch my videos on my website. Uh, I know it's more convenient maybe for you guys to watch them on YouTube, but if you are one of the few people who do watch it on my website, I very much appreciate it. Everything that is seen on my website really helps me out much more so than on YouTube. And the reason is, uh, the ads on my website, um, they pay out way more than what YouTube pays out because YouTube doesn't hardly pay anything. So if you watch my videos on my website, thank you very much. It really does help. It does make a difference. Um, let's see. The second thing on my list is today is Labor Day here in the United States. And I spent all of the day today tearing out the deck uh, behind my house. So there was like a freestanding deck that wasn't attached to anything. Oh, what a job. We tore it out completely in one day, uh, loaded it up on the trailer, took the trailer, or unloaded it at the landfill, which every time you go to the landfill, it's, oh, that is the most disgusting smell. <laughs> and it just sticks to everything. I, cannot, I can't stand it. I'm gonna have to wash my truck tomorrow. Um, I can walk by the trailer right now on the outside where there's a breeze and I can still smell the landfill. It is so disgusting. Uh, anyway, we, we took that out there, one load, it was 2,260 pounds. Uh, so all of that weight, we load up in the trailer, all of that weight, we unload at the landfill, and then we came back and, un and, and loaded up uh, whatever was left, which I've got probably about a quarter of the first load still on my trailer. I'm just parking it out back and waiting until I fill it up again. Uh, I didn't have enough time today to get back out there and dump it, but oh, the landfill, so disgusting. We're a disgusting species, I'll tell you that. Um, let's see, that's a topic for another day. Uh, the next thing on the list, oh, questions for you. So I wanna build something for, eventually I wanna have some type of little entertainment space. So I'm sure I'll put some images up on the screen and uh, I need some ideas for what to build back there. I'm not exactly sure to be honest with you, but I'm gonna build something. My wife wants a hot tub. I promised my wife a hot tub. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to get a hot tub, too much maintenance. Uh, let's see. The next thing on my list is the sound of the rain on this structure after the spray foam. Did the spray foam, spray foam quiet the rain noise down any? Absolutely not. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's a little bit more echoey in here with the spray foam versus before the spray foam. I guess it's just the, the hardness of the foam and how, I, I don't know, it's just a little bit more echoey in here. But uh, I think there's a bug on me. Um, I felt something. Oh, it's a mosquito. Uh, there's another annoyance. What was I talking about? Oh, the spray foam is, um, <laughs> it's, it didn't quiet it down in here at all. Not a single bit. And I, it, it is echoey in here. I can hear the echo as I'm talking. I don't know, I don't think the microphone can pick it up too much, but I have zero plans to do anything for the acoustics in here as far as narration and whatnot. Um, I am going to do something with, this is, the, this is so awkward, that. Those, that filter stack to the, to the uh, um, cyclone. I am gonna build one of those like, I, I don't know what they're called. You know, like you watch some old timey type stuff to where like they've got those like a uh, accordion folding uh, movable walls where someone can go behind it and change while in the same room, whatever those are called. I wanna build something similar to it to go, why is this so difficult to go around those filters to dampen the sound? It's something that I can, you know, wheel into place and then wheel out when necessary. But that's, that's on the uh, short list as far as uh, audio. This is actually, the, the cyclone is actually quieter in this shop. I just heard two bangs on the wall. Maybe my wife's out there. Um, the cyclone is actually quieter in this shop than in the last shop. And I think that's just because there's a lot of open space and the sound can travel and dissipate a little bit more. In the last shop, it was stuck in a corner. That corner was drywalled. So all of that noise just immediately bounced back and it was small space. So you really couldn't get that far away from it. It was much louder in my last shop. That being said, it's still pretty loud. 
Uh, I've gone on like a crazy tangent that it's not on my list. So the fourth thing that's on my list is uh, I got a, a comment uh, and a back and forth exchange a little bit. Can the CNC machine cut ceramic tile? And I simply do not know. And I researched a little bit and couldn't find a lot of information. I think I had something else I was supposed to be doing, so I didn't research too much. So all of you out there, if you have a CNC machine and you have successfully cut uh, ceramic tile <laughs> on the CNC machine, then uh, share your info if you don't mind. Uh, share your experience, I should say, if you don't mind. Can a CNC machine cut ceramic tile? I know you can do like a, a diamond drag bit and engrave it and such like that, but I'm actually, I'm talking about actually cutting it. That'd be very interesting to know. Uh, next up, number five on the list is a collab with Woodbrew. Molly and Dylan from Woodbrew. I'm gonna get you. I don't think I got it. It's one of them really small, like little gnats, not really a mosquito. I collabed with Woodbrew last Friday, Molly and Dylan. They came in and um, I built something for them, which was that nesting chair. I actually made it out of ash, which was a success. It looks gorgeous and uh, very nice, very nice little chair. And then uh, they made a planter for me for my front porch, or basically for my wife. She's the planter, planter person, not me. Um, and both projects turned out great. The goal was to make something simple in just a few hours, kind of like a one day build. And it was really fun to work in this space with somebody else working in this space. It was pretty cool. Um, and we didn't really get in each other's way too much. It was, uh, it was a really fun experience. I really enjoyed that. So that was on this past Friday. Uh, they stayed the night Friday and then Saturday. We had a, a little bit of a mini meetup here in this shop. I had 11 uh, good friends of mine over and uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a really good day. Uh, it was, uh, of course, me, Molly, Dylan from Woodbrew, my friend Jeremy, Jeremy Payne, J. Payne Woodworking, um, um, uh, Jason Bent, Bent's Woodworking over in uh, Georgia. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going blank. Uh, Hui, Alabama woodworker, and his friend David, uh, who I've met several times previously, and um, Maddox, Brandon, Ma Brandon Stevens from Maddox Woodworks, and I feel like I'm forgetting, oh, okay, the Three Stooges, yeah. Uh, Jason Barlow, uh, Sean Stone, and uh, Josh Edmonds, Edmondson, Edmonds? Oh no, I just forgot your last name on the spot. I'm a horrible person. Anyway, I have links to everybody who showed up down in the description. It was a blast. Uh, we did a little bit of CNC work and it was really fun sharing my experience with CNC machines to other people. Uh, we actually cut a couple parts for uh, some festival track that uh, parts that LR32 system. I'm not exactly familiar with that particular system, but we, we cut some end stops for it. That's what it was. So that was pretty cool. Uh, what else did we do? We did a little bit of I feel like we did more than that. Oh, I cut Sean a sign. And uh, of course we hung out, ate some good barbecue and um, had some good times. A lot of laughs and that was a full day event. So much fun once again. Uh, I'm definitely doing that again next year. Uh, so anyway, it's pretty cool to be able to hang out and kind of keep the camera off and just, just I mean, we all, we're all getting into woodworking because we, we enjoy the hobby, right? And uh, to be able to just set the cameras aside and just truly enjoy the hobby with some other people, it was just it was just so much fun. So if you guys came out, appreciate it. If anyone's watching this who uh, was here this past Saturday. Next thing on the list is uh, back to the collab with Woodbrew, those nesting chairs. I got a lot of interest in the templates for those. Uh, yes, they will be available most likely as soon as that video is published for the collab. I'm hoping for it this, this coming Sunday. Um, and they should be available then. I am outsourcing the cutting of those templates to a really good friend of mine who has a laser cutter. So uh, he should be able to cut them out way faster than I can and uh, still maintain precision and all that good stuff. And uh, it'll allow me to provide a quality template at uh, a reasonable price. So for anybody else, anybody out there who doesn't have a CNC machine, you can get the precise cutout simply by pattern routing. And uh, it, was, it was a, 
uh, it was a fun build. So when I did do that, when I did do, when I built that chair <laughs> uh, during the one day build with, with wood brew, uh, I didn't use the CNC machine. I used the templates just like anybody else out there who would purchase a template and use it if they didn't have a CNC machine. So everything went well and it was a fun little build. Next up on the list, man, I just jumped all over the place. I did number seven before number, or six before number seven. No, seven before number six. <laughs> you guys, I'm tired. Um, what else do I have? Number eight on the list. <laughs> what a train wreck. Is time to edit. I've got two projects in the can that I need to edit for the next couple weeks. So I'm not gonna be doing much uh, the next few days as far as building here in the shop. Um, but I've got plenty to do, a lot of computer work, which I always delay the computer work because it's not the end of the world to do computer work, but I'd much rather be just building stuff. So that's the next little bit of my life editing. Uh, what else do I have on here? Number nine on the list is Sneaky Pete. So me and my wife don't really watch television hardly at all. Uh, haven't had a cable subscription since we've been married, well, even before then. So neither one of us have had a cable subscription for, I don't know, 15 years now, something like that. But every now and then we'll find some show on, say, Amazon Prime or something that we got, we'll get into. So we, got, we both got into Game of Thrones. Now that that's over, we needed something for those rare nights where we have nothing to do and just want to chill on the couch for an hour. So we got into uh, the show Sneaky Pete. And that's, uh, I think it's an Amazon Prime original series, I think. Uh, but anyway, we just completed the first season and there's just so many twists and turns and it's good acting and uh, it's just, uh, it's an interesting little story. Uh, so if you, if you guys want something to watch, I, I recommend the, the show Sneaky Pete. It's, it's turning out to be pretty good. I think that's all I got for you guys today. I have to uh, edit this video before I go to bed tonight and hopefully upload it tonight as well. Um, Computer work, computer work, computer work. You guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I just had to start it up again. I said I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm not gonna talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.